Hello everybody, I'm Kevin Savatello with One Team Realty. I'm out here in Kissimmee, Florida, checking out Cypress Hammock by Bolte Homes. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Cedar floor plan. And it's actually their smallest, most affordable floor plan that they offer, but it does not feel small at all. And this home starts right in the 360s. This is also a beautiful community. So take a look at the pool playground super nice and you guys want to stay towards the end of the video where i'm going to talk a little bit more about kissimmee what this location has to offer and what is coming so take a look at the tour and enjoy okay so let's check out the cedar now my apologies this home does start at 357.990 at this end the 360s but hey once you put in the upgrades and everything you're in the 360s all right so let's go check it out So right away you are welcome with a nice foyer they did add the kind of the wood look vinyl on the floor and then right over here they have an opening but that's not normally there because this is an office as well and we'll go right over here right here you got the bathroom you got a bedroom to your left and then a bedroom to your right so we'll start over here to the left and then right over here, you do see that you got a good sized bedroom. This is for the soccer player of the home. And right in between both of the bedrooms, you do have a full bath. Now this home, they did add in some upgrades. So keep that in mind as you're viewing this tour. And right over here, I believe you get the AC unit. Yeah. And then here's the another secondary bedroom. One nice upgrade that they did do on the model home, which I always recommend, is that these doorways are eight foot tall. I'm also just over six feet, so that helps for me being tall but it does make the house feel a lot bigger for sure. And then continuing this way, off to the right, right there they do have that as a laundry room. Right now they're kind of having a storage space, so we won't be showing in there. That will be the garage entrance, so it won't be that little opening over there. It'll be right here. And then right over here, we do have a coat closet or you can make it into a linen closet since we live in florida it doesn't get too cold too often like so and then we'll continue to the main hub of the home where you'll spend most of your time at now check out this kitchen They did put in some nice white cabinets here and the gourmet kitchen option, which gives you that range hood. And then right there, that's the microwave and an oven right there. So let's take a peek at the pantry space. I know that's always one very important feature in the home. So you do get a lot of storage space. As you can see, they're utilizing it very well. And then the view from your kitchen island, you do oversee the living room. They did add in the tray ceilings option, which is a pretty nice addition to the home as well. Now this living room is definitely has a good amount of space for all your entertaining needs. Like I said, this is their most affordable home, but it does not feel like a small house at all. And then right over here, you do have your dining space. So right there, they do have a pretty large table. And now we'll go out to the cover of the night like that. We can check that out. Okay. 
So they did put in here a nice size cover lanai. Now I believe they did upgrade it so it could be extended out a little bit further, but definitely an upgrade worth thinking about if you're looking to buy a home in Florida. Because I mean, today, I mean, it is early March, pretty sure up north it might be a little bit chilly, but today it's like in the 80s. A good day for shorts and sandals. Another option, if you plan on being outside a lot, they do have the outdoor kitchen pre-plumb right there. So if you want to put in your outdoor barbecue, have a sink, that is something you could do if you plan on doing a lot of entertaining outside. We also did incorporate some sliding doors through the dining space too. That's an upgrade worth thinking about for sure. And then right over there, we do have the master bedroom. Now this have a really nice closet, so stay tuned. So the master is definitely a good size. It's definitely not the biggest, but it's definitely exactly what most people will need because you gotta fit your king size bed. You got your nightstand on both sides. And then right over here, you could put your dresser, and then I would put my big screen TV right there. They also did add in the tray ceilings here, which is always a good idea because it definitely makes the space feel bigger. What do you guys think of that lamp? Would you put a light instead of a fan? Or is a fan a must for you in your master bedroom? Let's go check out the bathroom as well now. So right there you can see you got the toilet space. You do have your double sinks. Right here you have a nice size walk-in shower. I did like how they incorporated a window right over here. Like that, that lets in some natural light. And over here, like I promised you guys, a nice size master closet. And you got two big rolls of shelving right there. One thing I don't know why is that, I mean, I guess the door might be in the way. I didn't extend it all the way to the end, but hey, the door might be in the way there. Pretty good size closet for a so-called small house. So thank you for watching today's video with me today. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. And I did promise I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about the area. So this community is super close to the new Sunrail station that they have for Poinciana. And then with that being so close, you could get to downtown Orlando by train. So basically drive like two, three minutes to get to the station. And then on the train, you could work on your computer, um, be on your phone, play games on your phone, whatever you want. And then you get to downtown Orlando nice and easily. So if you got a nice big corporate job over there, it's definitely something worth looking into. And then another thing is that you are close to 192. So you are close to Disney as well and a lot of major shopping, food, Margaritaville is also close by. So if those things are important for you, then this might be the community for you. So, but in the meantime, if you or anybody else you know is looking to buy a home in the Central Florida area, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to be your realtor of choice and help you out on your new home purchase. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.